What will you do when you have a dental patient suffering from hemophilia in your practice? What are chances you may encounter patients with various types of bleeding disorders in your day-to-day -day practice? Initial recognition of such bleeding disorders and their possible systemic causes plays a significant role in reducing potential complications. Bleeding disorders can be classified as coagulation factor deficiencies, platelet disorders, vascular disorders, and fibrinolytic defects. Among these, hemophilia A, hemophilia B, Christmas disease, and von Willebrand's disease are the commonly encountered congenital coagulation defect disorders. Hemophilia comprises a group of hereditary disorders caused due to the deficiency of one or more clotting factors leading to prolonged clotting time and excessive bleeding tendencies that may be fatal. It is broadly divided into hemophilia A, deficiency of factor VIII, hemophilia B or Christmas disease, deficiency of factor X, and hemophilia C or Rosenthal syndrome, deficiency of factor XI. The severity of hemophilia has been classified into the following three forms. Severe form where the factor level is less than 1% of normal, less than 0.01 IU per milliliter. Moderate form where the factor level is 1 to 5% of normal, 0.01 to 0.05 IU per milliliter. Mild form with the factor level more than 5 to 40% of normal, greater than 0.05 to 0.40 IU per milliliter. Hemophilia is characterized by bleeding from multiple sites frequently manifested in the mouth as gingival and post-extraction hemorrhages. In kids, oral ulcerations and etchemosis involving lips and tongue are common. Investigations include positive family history or a clinical history of exaggerated bleeding response to minor trauma gives a clue regarding the presence of hemophilia A. It's important to give regular oral hygiene instructions to prevent periodontal diseases. You can do orthodontic treatment for hemophilic patients provided the appliances doesn't encourage plaque accumulation. Endodontic treatment is preferred over extraction to reduce the risk of bleeding. Maintaining healthy periodontium is important to prevent extraction, tooth loss, and bleeding. Supragingival scaling can be carried out initially along with oral hygiene instructions, followed by subgingival scaling after the inflammation has subsided. Local anesthesia is not contraindicated for hemophilic patients and addition of vasoconstrictors can provide additional local hemostasis. As a dentist it important to work along with local physicians, hematologists to provide utmost care and appropriate treatment for patients with hemophilia A. Hope all of you liked this video. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more such interesting videos.